happy April 15th. Um, last week I traded for a guitar and I got a Martin D18E. Very cool guitar. I love D18s, but I got it and it has a big problem. Let me grab. So check out how beautiful this guitar is. It just looks so good. Um, it's beautiful. Ever since Martin did the reimagined, they're just so great. Now I got this guitar and I noticed I was like, wow, that has really low action. It's super easy to play, but if you play hard at all, and it's buzzy. So I, on my Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, I did a live hang where I was like, hey, this guitar's buzzy, I'm gonna try and fix it. And what happened was that I took the tension off the truss rod and I was like, oh, all the tension's off and it's still, uh, the neck is too straight and it's still too buzzy. Now this is, there's a receipt in there where someone bought this guitar for $2,879. This is a full professional Martin guitar um, and it's just not right. So. The problem with this guitar is that it is really dry. So, uh, with that said, there is a sponsor for this video. It's Sweetwater. Sweetwater sent me this, the D'Addario Humidipack, Humiditrack. So this is a fancy Bluetooth enabled humidifier. So what my plan is, I'm gonna set this thing up. You're gonna watch me set it up. Uh, I'm gonna put it in this guitar and then I'm gonna put it back in the case and I'm gonna let it live for a couple weeks. I'm gonna track it. I'll film along the way and I'll just uh, see if I can breathe new life into this guitar. Basically, I just need this guitar to take a little bit more moisture and so it will relax, chill out, you know, stop being so tight. And uh, hopefully the neck will come forward. And uh, yeah, so I don't think it will take anything else, but I'm really excited to see if this thing can actually uh, save me from having to spend money with a repairman or have to deal with Martin. Typically, when you own a guitar, particularly an acoustic guitar, they're gonna freak out four times. I talked about this in a live show recently, but humidity has a way of ruining guitars, both too much and too little. You have to find balance in life. That's a good lesson. So the four times it'll freak out. The first time is, let's say you bought it in the summer, that first winter you have it, what's happened here. The action's gonna come down and you're gonna think, what the heck? And it's so buzzy and it's uninspiring and you feel like you can't play the way you normally play. So then you're gonna take tension off the truss rod. You might have to shim under the saddle. There's a handful of things you will try that first year to get it back. Oh, okay, oh, it's playing great in January, in February. And then the next time it freaks out is that next summer when you get to like June, July, high humidity, high temperatures. And uh, all of a sudden you're like, oh man, this guitar's so hard to play. And you feel like you're a bad player because you start missing, like bar chords become particularly hard. And basically the action has come up as the guitar has breathed in a bunch of humidity. And so all of that just, yeah, not good. So then the third time it'll freak out is that next winter, you know, 18 months after you've owned it but it's a pendulum swing. So the first swings are always the highest with the biggest amount of energy, and then they never quite return to the same place that they started before they come back. So you'll get to where three or four years in, most acoustic guitars are really settled, and then in my experience, seven to 10 years is when they really seem to stabilize, and uh, they don't freak out as much. So let's open this thing. So I don't really know, so you're. this is my actual first reaction. I've seen other people with these. I've never uh, used one. Wow, it's tiny. That's it? That's funny. On the front of the box, you see this? Uh, well, I guess, okay, if you see it in scale with a phone, that makes sense. But this thing just seemed, it's tiny. So download and launch the Diodario Humiditrack app from the App Store or Google Play. I have Pixel, so I'll get Google Play. R important, before removing the battery insulator in your Humiditrack, Move to a location at least 10 feet away from other active Humiditrack sensors. Got it, not a problem, don't have any others. When prompted, remove the plastic tab from the battery housing and place the Humiditrack sensor on the screen of your smartphone or tablet. Follow the on-screen instructions to finish pairing the sensor. For further instructions, refer to the in-app user guide. All right, let's get the app. Okay, so I have to create an account here. I'll do that. So now it's telling me to add the device. So let's add a device. All right, so it says link a sensor. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna link a sensor, that middle option. 
So now remove the pull tab and place it on the phone screen. So let me pull you down here. So I'm gonna pull this tab. Now I'll set it there. A red light just happened. I don't know if you can see that. Found it. Setting up your sensor. Sensor is now linked. Customize your sensor. All right, so now we'll put in, it's saying put in, the. that's why it wants the camera. So it asked me a minute ago if it could have access to my camera, and I said no. And then I had to change it because it, it wants you, you can snap a picture of your guitar. So if you have a bunch of these, you have a bunch of acoustic guitars, which I do, um, you can then snap a picture. But you can also name them. So I'll say this is the Martin, and this is the D18, and I am sure that Diodario is using this information for market research. They're going to sell that information to somebody. Um, but, okay, so this is a, D, a Martin D18E. So the temperature and humidity in here uh, is 47% and 73 degrees. That's not right. Temperature's not right. Humidity's probably right. I have a hygrometer over there. 44% on that is what it says. But, okay, so now what do I do with this thing? Where do I put it? Do I just put it in the case? Do I put it in the guitar? What's this thing for? Oh, I'm just going to put all of this in the case with the guitar. So I'm going to put this up here by the headstock. It's not moving anywhere, but I just wanted to keep track. Maybe. No, okay. It'll be back there. I won't touch anything. Then the guitar's just going to sit for a while. And now we wait. So I'm going to put it in there. I'll come back to this in a week. So on the 22nd, uh, I'll check this and I'll just see if it's uh, coming up, coming down, and so I get to check it remotely. So that'll be good. So hopefully this will breathe new life into my guitar. Quickest of check-ins. You can see day four. We're coming up. We're up to 48% humidity, and the humid and the temperatures up. So uh, we're we're up. We were at 44%, I think, when we started. We're right when we started, now we're at 48, 49. All right. See you in a couple days. It is May 1st, and um, we're at 55%. 56% is where we are currently. If I scroll through there, you can see it's kind of a slow line up. So let's open it up and check it out and see if it actually um, isn't buzzy. That's the big thing. So here's the D18. And remember last time it was real buzzy. Wow, it's less buzzy. I mean, it still is a little buzzy. It's uh, not well, it's not in tune. It's not terrible, but it will plang the ears of some people. Um, but it's definitely better as I look at the truss rod. So we're still, we're, there was some positive bow before. We're now just like dead flat. So it's really hard to see. So there it is. Just living in the case. And uh, I'll put it back in here, put the guitar in. And uh, yeah, I think leveling out in the mid 50s for a while should bring some life back into this guitar. The story of this D18 coming back together has been a long time in the coming. I think it's, I mean, it's been months. It was when I was still in the basement. It was before I was done with the studio here. The guitar is ready to be sold. It actually already sold yesterday and I need to get it shipped. But I've remembered that I've been tracking the humidity. And so I want to just show some of the testimony of how this thing has actually worked and what it's been like to actually need and use. And uh, so anyway, I'll open the software here and uh, so there it is right away. I, so in here I can tell that it's, what, 66% humidity and 71 degrees, which that's, I mean, right on where it is here. It's super humid. It's the middle of the summer here in Virginia in 2021. Uh, but as I go through, one of the coolest things I love about this is looking at the amount of data I actually get because more data is more better. Um, having data points to actually track and to apply some actual science to this thing. So this guitar has gone from being buzzy and scary and disappointing and stressful because it's a $2,000 guitar. And over the life of using this Humiditrack, I've been able to track the humidity, make informed decisions on what to do with it. Now there's another video that's tied to this. I eventually took this guitar to my friend Ben Paget. I'll put the card up here. So Ben took it, he looked at it, and he uh, showed me that it has a dual action truss rod. So it's really, it was better, but still not great. And so we backed off the truss rod. And if you keep backing off the truss rod, you activate the dual action of the Martin truss rods. And with that, we were able to get it all the way cranked back to where 
proper relief and this guitar is sorted, it is settled, and that's what gave me the go ahead to go ahead and list it and sell it. So as I look through the data here, um, one of the cool things is, so I'll take some screenshots so I can put in here. I love looking at the monthly. So this guitar, when I started, was in the 40s. It was around 40% humidity. It was just dry and buzzy and was not good. I eventually got it to where it's now into the 60s and that's where I like getting guitars and that's about where you want them to be in the summer. Might be a little smidge high for some people's preferences, but for me, 50, 60% is pretty good. So that's what I love. Um, so the average temp the average humidity was 63%. The, uh, the highest humidity was 69%. I've had some just ridiculously humid days. I've had to bring a dehumidifier in to get it back down to where I need to be. Uh, and then the lows, it was at 58% uh, was my low. I'll take a screenshot here as well. So my lowest temperature was 65 degrees. My highest temperature uh, was 78 degrees, which I believe because it has been hot. Like we're now into like the mid 90s every day. But let me pull the guitar out. Let's look at it real quick. Man, it's just cool. So it's not in perfect tune and I'm also just using the overhead mic, but this is a really exciting thing. Now all of this, now remember this is a sponsored video and none of this uh, could happen without this little guy. So this is the Deodario Humidity Track. This is an incredibly helpful little tool that pairs so seamlessly, so easily with my phone. It data logs, it does wonderful things. Um, yeah, so thanks Sweetwater for sending me this and thanks Deodario for making this. Um, more data is more better. I mean, that is the truth. Um, if you need to make informed decisions about your gear and how you're gonna protect it and how you're gonna take care of stuff and how you're going to make sure that things last a long time, you need more data and this has been awesome. So thanks so much for watching this video. I'm Jeremy, I'm the Guitar Hunter. There will be affiliate links in the description below to Sweetwater for the Humida Tracks. There's also the Humida Packs. If you live in really dry areas, especially our friends in the Southwest, in the US, in Arizona, um, New Mexico where it's really dry, really hot right now. If you're on the East Coast with, you know, where in the, a lot of the rest of the country where it's super hot and super humid, uh, there will also be, that's where this is really helpful to know if you have too much humidity, which is just as real of a problem. Um, not as immediately dangerous, but is a problem. So anyway, there will be links for these in the description below. Thanks for supporting this channel. Thanks to my patrons, uh, especially my ride or die patrons, Adam, Andy, Gary, Tom, uh, Jose, Adam, all, all of them. So thanks for watching this. I'll see y'all later.